Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how to actually set up a live Zoom wedding from start to finish. I don't see many videos on this on YouTube. This is the technical side, so I hope you find a lot of value in this video. We'll talk about how to actually set up your Zoom account, and you can also learn about the different settings that Zoom offers. If you have any questions, please comment down below and we'll go ahead and answer them for you. And let's get started. To host a Zoom wedding, you're going to need a couple of devices. I recommend hosting the Zoom wedding from a desktop or laptop if you have one. If not, using a phone or tablet works as well, but you'll have limited settings. The second device you'll need is a phone with a good camera to stream the actual wedding to everyone. You can prop the camera using a tripod or on a bookshelf. We will show you our setup at the end of this video. On the Zoom website, you'll find a plan and pricing tab. The basic plan is free, but has a 40 minute streaming limit and 100 participants. I recommend the Pro plan, which is $14.99. This gives you a 24 hour stream limit, 100 participants, and admin and user management, which you'll need. You can sign up just for the month of your wedding and cancel after. Additionally, I recommend choosing the extra host or co-host option so a friend or family member can manage the call during your wedding and fix any problems that come up. Create a Zoom account if you don't have one already. You can use your Google account, email, or Facebook account. Once logged in, you'll be in the Zoom dashboard. You'll see a list of any meetings you have scheduled along with the option to schedule a new meeting. Select this to schedule your wedding. In the topic box, input the name of your meeting. For this example, I'll title it Zoom Wedding. In the description, I'll put our 2020 Zoom Wedding. Then select the date of your wedding. I'll use a random date like August 21st at 3 p.m. The default time is one hour. Change this if you will stream for longer. Zoom will generate a unique meeting ID or you can choose your personal meeting ID. Then in security, decide whether you want a passcode. Under video, you will decide if your participants can turn on their video, just the host, or neither. In meeting options, you can allow your guests to join the meeting before the host. You can mute guests as they join if you're going to play music. Lastly, you can select to have the meeting recorded automatically when it started. You have two options to record. You can save the file to your local computer or on the cloud. Then on the left hand side, click on the settings tab. The first setting to consider is a waiting room. This setting will place every guest in a waiting room, which your co-host will have to manually approve before being allowed in. If you want Zoom to generate a passcode for you, turn the setting on. If not, you can select your own passcode. One click join is a great setting to turn on, especially for older guests or guests who aren't tech savvy. You can also require guests to join by phone instead of through video to input the password you made. The personal meeting ID setting can be useful if you plan on scheduling further meetings as you will be given a meeting ID specific to your account. We decided to have our chat feature turned off, but you can decide to leave this option on if you want your guests to send you nice messages and have them saved as memories. The co-host option is important if you're going to have a friend or family member help you manage the virtual wedding. We turned off the option for guests to share their screens. Only the host and co-host could share their screens as we had some graphics and pictures we showed as an intro and outro. Scrolling down to breakout rooms, this option can be nice to have in your virtual event. Think of this option as seating arrangements in a traditional wedding. The host can split the meeting into smaller meetings for family and friends to talk amongst themselves and share nice comments about you. As mentioned earlier, Zoom can record the meeting automatically. You can have Zoom send you a copy of the recording to your account or other hosts. The rest of the settings are unique to how I host my Zoom meetings, but they're worth taking a look if you want to change the specifics of your virtual wedding. After everything is set in Zoom, you're ready to stream your own virtual wedding. We used an iPhone to stream our wedding to everyone while Jackie and I stood in front of our TV. We connected our laptop to the TV so we could see the speaker while we stood in front of each other. Here is a brief clip of how it looked. 
we each had an AirPod in our ear so we could hear the speaker without introducing feedback into the Zoom wedding. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that this video helped you. I know many people are now going to get married through Zoom. It's a new way of getting married for the next couple of years, so we really hope that this video helped. If you also want to learn more about actually planning your wedding, from telling your family members to decorating your house for the wedding, go ahead and click this video up here. It'll show you everything about how to actually plan a successful Zoom wedding. Again, if you have any questions, please comment down below. We'll definitely go ahead happily help you we really hope you have the best wedding ever and we just really wish the best for you and if you'd like a video on how to actually host a zoom wedding please comment down below we can definitely make a video about that as well everything from hosting it to adding music to adding people into your wedding we can help you with that so go ahead and let us know down below thank you again so much for watching this video i really truly appreciate it i love you all um, please remember to like this video and subscribe if you like more of this content i really love doing this it's my passion and also go ahead and click the notification bell down below as well. I love you all and I'll see you again soon. Bye!